Hello everyone, my name is Kerwin and today I'm going to be discussing what most likely is the single most standard build for Terran vs Zerg and that is the 6 Hellions and 2 Banshees opener. A lot, most pros use this at least once a series, once a tournament, just because it's so standard. The players like uh, Maru, Bian, Euthermal, Clem, which is going to be the replay we'll go over today, all of them use this build. Why is it so good to use it? Well, the Hellions give you map control, that way you can deny creep, you can force Zerglings to make the Zerg defend. But also the Banshees keep you safe, and especially nowadays, Roaches are quite popular, be it Roach or Lins later, or the earlier ones, the Banshees really help you out. So this build gives you good economy, it gives you good safety with the Banshees, and good map control with the Hellions and the Banshees. As I said uh, before, the replay we're gonna look at today to learn this build is going to be Clem vs Raynor from Dreamhack, uh, winner bracket finals. We're gonna be analyzing this replay a bit more into depth. This build is going to be focusing on a Reaper Fast Expand to start, and then we transition into the Hellions and the Banshees. So this is a normal Reaper Fast Expand. It begins with the all-reliable 14 Supply Depot. Uh, you rally the SUV from the CC, of course. Uh, this is a Barracks before Gas, so at 16 Supply we will take a Barracks, and then a Gas right after when we can afford it. We will saturate the Gas when it finishes, and make a Reaper when the Barracks finishes at 19 Supply, and together with that Reaper we will make an Orbital as well. I would recommend to SCV scout. Uh, in this game, Clem chooses to SCV scout with the SCV that built the command center. I would recommend you to do that as well. Um, just to see if it's pull first or an all in, it, it really helps. And then of course we take the command center as well. Uh, after the Reaper, we're gonna make a supply depot. Obviously drop the mule the very moment that we can. And after the Reaper, we will make a marine and a factory and then a gas and a reactor. And that's, that's the Reaper fast expand stage. Clem, of course, being Clem, can do a lot of good fancy micro with the Reaper, but you don't have to. It's all important to scout, mostly. Uh, once our factory finishes, we want to put it on the reactor that our barracks built, and then we start making Hellions, and our barracks is going to be making a tech lab for the starport, which of course we started the moment the factory finished. Nothing too fancy to see from here, we do take a 34 supply depot, you pretty much just want to make supply depots repeatedly so you don't get supply blocked, being supply blocked is not nice. And we want to make constant Hellion production up to 6 Hellions. Uh, when the tech lab and the starpot finish, we put the starpot on the tech lab of course and start a banshee and cloak at once, and then a tech lab on our barracks. This tech lab is going to be useful for us to start stim. Uh, once the last pair of Hellion starts, uh, once we can afford it, we can make the third command center, which should roughly be at around 54 supply, or if you're more timing based, should be around 423. When our last Hellions finish, we want to lift the, the factory, and it goes to make a reactor. That reactor will serve one of our barracks in the future. We're going to make a second banshee when money allows it. Then we're going to be adding two extra barracks, right around 446, 60 on supply roughly. The production setup here is very simple, you get these two barracks, and then you get the two ebays, and then you get the two gas. So the ebays should follow up roughly at 5 minutes, and then the gas is after that. Uh, our factory, once it finishes the reactor, takes the tech lab of the starport, the starport that was making banshees, because we want to make siege tanks. And the starport goes to make a reactor, so we have a reactor. And after all that, after, take, after, after we do all of that and take our gases, it is time to start our 4th and 5th barracks. This should be at roughly 5.30, maybe a bit earlier. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, when the eBay is finished, we want to make plus one, plus one as soon as possible. When Stimpak finishes, we want to make combat shields. And then we just uh, produce units, marines, tanks, and medivacs. So once we're set up on our three bases and we have five barracks, we can choose what we want to play. There's a more current meta, like modern way of playing TVZ, which would be uh, Bio Widow Mine. So we take a fifth gas at our third base. We're going to take a fourth base. We're going to play lots of Widow Mines. That's going to be our factory units. And we're going to make Marine Marauder. But there's also the more aggressive version, which Clem chooses in this match. And I would recommend as well, because I think it's very good to elevate your skills with it. It's good to practice with it. And that's the Atrax. The idea of the Atrax is that we stop producing SCVs at around 60. So that's just mineral saturation at our third base, we don't take any extra gases in the third base, and we go up to eight barracks. The last three of them do not have add-ons, and we literally make marine tank medivac. We hit a massive 2-2 timing, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a great style to practice your macro to, and Clem really made it shine in this series, not only this game, but the last game as well. Uh, that's pretty much it for this build, and I hope it's going to be useful. ESChat build is made possible by passionate viewers just like you. To help us level up the scene, 
go to eschamp.com join to become a member and get access to the community, previews, and exclusive shows.